In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a wooden farmhouse sign. Hey everyone, welcome back to David's DIY Reviews. On this channel, we do a lot of tool tutorials, tool techniques, tool reviews, as well as project builds like this, usually wooden kind of DIY woodworking builds. Today, we're going to be making this farmhouse sign. So let's get into it. So the first thing I've done is laid out and drawn my sign, which mine is going to say open. And my sign is going to be an indoor sign, so I've just gone ahead and used paper and marker. If you were going to do an outdoor sign, you might want to actually paint it on or use something a little more durable. So I'm going to go ahead and cut mine out. That way you know kind of what size to actually make your sign itself. So we'll go ahead and cut this out and then we'll move on to, to making the sign. So I've got a cut out now and I'm going to be using a poplar. This is a piece of one by eight. So that actually makes it um, seven and a quarter inches wide. So I'm going to leave that about a three quarters of an inch gap. My sign is it's um, six by 11. So I've got a bit of a gap on the sides and I'll do a bit bigger of a gap on the ends. I'll do a one inch gap on each end. So that'll um, make my overall length 13 inches. So I'll go ahead and mark 13. And uh, you're going to want this to be nice and square. So if you have a, a square of any kind, I would definitely recommend using that to make your line. And also, all the uh, tools and equipment I'm using to make this sign will be in the description below. So have a look down there if you need anything to work with. So we'll go ahead and we'll uh, cut this out now. And this is going to be arguably the most difficult part of this build because you're going to want this cut to be perfectly square and straight. So if there was a point in time during this build you're going to take your time, now would be the time. So we'll go ahead and we'll cut this out. So we'll just finish cutting this off and then we'll move on to putting the, the frame on the side. So the next step is going to be cutting out the pieces for the frame. So we're going to have the top portion of the frame stick out past the edges. So what that means is the sides will butt up against it like this. So you're going to want to kind of kind of lay your, your setup dry like this. So that way you can get the perfect measurement to cut this so that this will be nice and flush. So we'll go ahead and do that now. And the material I'm using for the frame is one by two, which is actually going to be three quarter by one and three quarter. And that's a nice height to kind of give it the sign some depth. So like I said, I've got this side flush. So we'll go ahead and turn my pencil the right way around and mark that and we'll start cutting the sides out. So I'm just finishing cutting my second uh, top piece of the frame and then we'll move on to the sides. And I'll show you guys how you go about making those fit just perfectly. So go ahead and I'll finish cutting this off. And it's always a good idea to kind of sand up your edges as you go. I mean you can sand them all at the end but when you're trying to dry fit your project as you're building it it's good to have all your edges really nice and clean. So now we're going to be uh, figuring out the dimension that is going to be the side of our frame. So you're going to want to make sure these stand nice and straight. If they're moving around and kind of could be on an angle, you're going to want to clamp it so that they actually stand straight and your measurement will be precise. Mine are sitting pretty straight, so we're going to take that measurement. And mine's looking to be at actually conveniently seven and a quarter right on. So I'm going to go ahead and cut two more pieces of one by two at seven and a quarter and then we'll get into assembly. And what I would do at this point is just test fit that first piece you cut, make sure it fits perfectly, so that way your second one will be perfect and you don't have to do two a second time. And it looks like it works nicely, so I'll go ahead and cut my second one now. And these are uh, sides of the frame. These are gonna be the most technically accurate pieces that re you require. And so you're gonna wanna make sure you're cutting on the waist side of the line or you're not going to end up with the right dimension. So we'll go ahead and finish cutting the sides. So one more time, we'll probably dry fit all the pieces to make sure we like it and we're happy with it. So when we assemble, we're going to like the way it looks. And it's looking like it's all going to go together quite nicely. We can set our sign in there, see what we think. I think it's going to look really good. So now we'll get into assembly. So I'm going to be using just uh, two inch kind of flathead nails. And I'm probably going to do three along the long side, two on the other side. And I'll probably actually measure these out 
so that they sit perfectly where I want them. And I'm probably also going to pre-drill because poplar is a, it's fairly hard and it tends to crack. If you're using pine, something like that, you probably don't need to. But I'm going to measure these out, lay them out, drill them out, and we'll keep on going on. Yeah, keep on going on. That's right. So I'm just finishing laying out my last uh, couple nail holes and then we'll move on. I'll show you how to drill it and we'll start nailing it together. So I'm going to pre-drill these holes uh, just very slightly bigger than the nail itself. You can pre-drill them the same size, slightly bigger. It'll work. So I'm going to stick them in my vise here. This is a little bench clamp on vise. The neatest little handy uh, vise I've really ever had. And like I said, links to all these tools and equipment will be in the description below. So we'll go ahead and we'll start drilling these out and we'll start putting it together. Minor um, technical difficulty there. Make sure your drill bit is tight in your chuck. If you're missing a chuck key, well, it is what it is. And as you're moving all the pieces to your uh, project around, there's a chance you might lose track of which piece goes on which side. So it's not a, be a bad idea to mark them as you're going. But it's not necessary if they're all the same, but not a bad idea no matter what. So we'll finish drilling up this last piece now. And yes, I managed to get my drill bit tight in the chuck. Kind of an ongoing issue with uh, me if you've seen my older videos. But nevertheless, we press on. So we've got all our nails started, now we'll go ahead and we'll drive them in. Being, sorry, and being that this is a bit of a rustic piece, I'm not too worried about the hammer hits on the wood or anything like that because we're just kind of kind of rough it up at the end and this is going to look really good. So now we'll go ahead and nail our, our long sides on. All I got to do is kind of, you know, eyeball it up even on both ends. If it's not perfect, perfect, you just kind of even the gap on both sides. Like I said, this is <laughs> kind of ironically the, the good part about building kind of farmhouse rustic builds is that when it's not perfect, it just kind of adds to it, you know. If you want to make something like this absolutely perfect, you can. It'll be a totally different look, but this is kind of what I'm going for, so we'll keep on going. And you're probably also going to want to put a nail through, um, kind of in the top here going into the end to keep this from having any movement. So we'll nail through here like that. I'll probably use a bit shorter of a nail for this just to reduce the risk of splitting. So we'll go ahead and nail it up. And if you're uh, still watching at this point, thank you very much. And if you are still watching, you'll notice that this would also double really nicely. It's kind of a tabletop serving tray, but that's not really what we're building. So we're going to go ahead now and we're going to put the sign in. And I'm actually going to nail the my sign in the middle to give it kind of that nailed on older look. And if you were doing an outdoor sign, that probably wouldn't be a bad idea anyway, just for some uh, rigidity. So I'll go ahead and do that now. So we'll just kind of eyeball this in place. I mean, you could measure it and get it absolutely perfect, but it's close enough to the edges that you probably don't have to. So we'll just get it in place there. And you can always redo this easily. I'm just going to use these little three quarter inch nails and we'll start uh, tacking it down. You don't have to nail it in like this. This is just the, an idea I had that I thought would be a nice look. So I'll go ahead and do that now. So there we go, we've made this really nice rustic wooden sign. This is a really quick build, I really like the look of it, it's nice and clean. And if you happen to be looking for some other kind of rustic builds, I've got a, a couple nice ones, a nice bench, a nice wooden wine crate. Check out the card, the YouTube card above. It's a really good playlist, some rustic builds I've done on the channel. You're really going to like them if you like this. And like I said, links to all the tools and equipment are in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe for a lot more really great content like this. A lot of tool reviews, tool techniques, and builds like this. So that's it for this one, David's DIY Reviews. Aww.